Take a good look in the mirror. Tell me who, who do you see? Keep your head up. Reflect on who you are. Yeah, that's you, you. Bold as can be. Every feature on your face, your ears, your eyes, your nose, your teeth are as perfect as can be. So sing, I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm loved, I'm smart, and I'm you. ourselves at the end of another month. I know it's hard to believe. It feels like April has just flown right by. Well, whether you are watching this on Thursday or Friday this week, because the other day I will be celebrating with you woo, at our quarterly honor roll assembly. Whichever day you are viewing this video, today we are going to wrap up our Growth Mindset Unit by taking a look at our final conundrum for the month of April. Speaking of celebrations, stay tuned guys. There's something I'm so excited about coming next week, giving you a little preview. I hope you're getting pumped up and ready because I am so so excited for us to share a special moment here. If there's a hundred and one reasons to celebrate here on Moments with Miss McGrew. Did you catch my clue? Can you guess what we're going to be celebrating? I guess we'll find out next week. But for today, let's go ahead and take a look at today's conundrum. Today's conundrum is all about a fox. Yep, it's a fox conundrum. Now, this conundrum isn't what does the fox say, because we still don't know what the fox says. Although I like to say it's me, 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 me. Oh, sorry. I got a little distracted. But this conundrum, remember, conundrums don't have a correct answer. We are looking at and thinking about all of the factors, all of the truth that we know, and discussing with our classmates what we think, what our best opinion is, and then using the input of others to grow our understanding and tackle these challenges. So today's conundrum with the fox is all about who gets to name the fox. Let's take a look. 
All right, welcome back, friends. It's time for our conundrum of the day. Remember I said this one is called the Fox Conundrum. Let's take a look. Conundrums, created by Astronova School. Number three, the Fox Conundrum. All right, I've got a question for you. A new species of fox is discovered. Four people helped to find it. But who was most important to making this discovery? Option A, the hiker. An experienced hiker first found the tracks of the fox, noticed that they looked unusual, and told the local park ranger. Option B, the park ranger. The park ranger agreed with the hiker that these tracks were strange and hired a tracker to find the new species of fox. Option C, the tracker. The tracker was hired by the park ranger and followed the fox for six weeks, but never quite caught it. Option D, the farmer. The fox, exhausted from the tracker chasing after it, fell asleep on the front porch of a farmer who thought, hey, this fox looks different and reported it to the local park ranger. So who deserves the most credit for finding this new species of fox? Are you team hiker, team park ranger, team tracker, or team farmer? All right, guys, what team are you on? Take a minute and discuss who deserves the most credit for finding the new species of fox. Be sure to say, why? Why do you think that way? Remember, it's not about being right. It's about giving a good reason for why you think the way you think. Then you can share out and talk about it in your class. What did your class think most? Who was it that you want to give credit to? Can your class decide? Did your ideas change as you listen to other people? I hope that you enjoyed this Fox conundrum and that you were able to share your brilliant ideas. Remember, growth mindset is all about looking at a challenge and being excited and willing to say, you know what? I don't know yet, but I can keep learning and I can find out. I look forward to our special celebration next week. And I hope that if I don't see you before the weekend, you have a fabulous weekend. Thank you for joining me here on Moments with Miss McGrew. Until next time, bye.